Alright, what's going on everyone? Today we need to talk about the 2023 Challenger decks, or lack thereof, because we are very, very late for an announcement, and I just wanted to talk about that. There's some concerns that maybe they've been quietly discontinued. I don't know if that's the case, but we're definitely very, very past the normal date for an announcement. So just for context, the first batch that ever was released was announced February 23rd. The 2020 batch was announced February 15th. 2021, they were announced February 12th. And 2022 was weird because they revealed the boxes a month early. They revealed them in January, January 12th actually. But the deck lists were revealed February 9th, which is pretty close to the other dates. So here they all are together, right? 23rd, 15th, 12th, and 9th. Earlier and earlier. Though you may notice there's a missing date, and that's because 2019, they were actually announced March 18th. So that should give us some hope. We have had a later announcement than normal. We are way past the date that we would normally get them. We normally get them mid to late February in terms of the announcement. We're now mid-March, still no announcement, but we have had a time in the past where a batch of decks was announced this late. So... It's not impossible. Another noteworthy thing is the release dates of the decks. In 2018, they were released April 6th. 2019, they were released April 12th. 2020, they were scheduled to release April 3rd. They were released a week early because of the lockdowns. But I'm still going to go with the original intended date of April 3rd here. 2021, they released April 2nd. And then they released April 1st last year so once again early april typical release date at this point you know you would think we would have an announcement if these are going to release april 1st because remember that local game stores have to like pre-order these and stuff and this is why the reason products are usually announced like a month or two ahead of time is because at the end of the day local game stores need to know what they're ordering and if they know what's going to be released then it's going to be out in the public so products are usually announced publicly at least a couple months before release and then a uh, local game Game stores know you know what's coming up uh they can gauge the the interest in products and stuff like that so something else to consider is the length of time between the announcement of the decks and the release of the deck so in 2018 it was 42 days 2019 was 25 days again we have that really late announcement 2020 was 48 days 2021 was 49 days and 2022 was 51 days so pretty consistent with the exception of 2019 of about 50 days 48 to 50 days so products are usually announced on the weekly mtg stream which is on tuesdays so if we look at the tuesdays of this month we have one 14th the 21st and the 28th and if we look at the fridays that these usually release these usually release on a friday we have friday march 31st and april 7th now that's a very awkward time frame there because they either have to release this earlier than they ever have before on the 31st or later than usual on the 7th in order to release them on a Friday. And in terms of the announcement, let's assume that they're announced this Tuesday on the 14th. That would be 24 days between March 14th and April 7th which is pretty on par with those 2019 decks, which was 25 days between the announcement and the release. They were announced March 18th, they were released April 12th. So if we have an announcement on March 14th and a release on April 7th, that's a very similar time frame to those 2019 decks, assuming they literally announced them in a few days and released them a little bit later than usual. If they do the announcement schedule and release date, the normal 40 days or so, now we're looking at March 14th as an announcement date and April 28th, which would be 45 days. April 28th is very late for these, man. It's a, that's like almost a full month later than usual. So what does all of this mean? It means that if these are going to be announced, they pretty much have to be announced either the 14th or the 21st, which would be one of the latest dates that they've ever announced these. They're also going to have to release either on the 31st, the earliest they've ever released them, the 7th, which is later than usual, or a much later date than usual. We're talking the 14th or later. And if we don't get an announcement within the next couple weeks, then I would say there's a very good chance that these have just been quietly discontinued because I have seen a lot of people complaining that standard is just 
not very active in paper and i would say that's a good reason to print these decks you want to try to get people back in the stores uh, bear in mind the stores have been closed for a couple of years uh, the 2020 batch those were very unfortunately timed they released like a week before lockdowns in the u.s so it was very rough and then i was shocked i was i could not believe that the 2021 decks released at all local game stores were still completely closed at that point so i never never in a million years expected standard challenger decks to release in 2021 but we got them anyway they're still good for casual players of course so that's great I i'm fine with that but at this point you know we've got magic fest now right we've got, we just had the paper pro tour um everything's opening back up uh, everything's been opening back up for the past year and a half now but you know at this point we're like we're really opening back up so now it seems like you know it's more important than ever to get those decks in stores get those get people back in the stores people are starting to be more comfortable and I, look i'm not getting into the politics of this but people are getting more comfortable going to local game stores and stuff again so it seems more important now than ever to get those decks on the shelves but uh technically past few years they haven't done well they didn't sell well in 2020 because who was buying them we, we were in lockdown they didn't sell in 2021 because the same and you know it, it's just been rough and it, i don't think it's the the local game stores or the the challenger decks fault it's just been a, a you know not many people are playing but i I, th I think it's pretty important to have these decks out and it's just very late it's very late for an announcement not impossible not impossible we have had a later announcement date 2019 they announced them march 18th so we could have an announcement on the 14th could have one on the 21st if they're really late but uh it's not impossible but it is feeling like you know uh, we we should be hearing something right surely surely something soon because uh you know we're, I, i'm feeling a little antsy feeling like maybe these aren't happening but um there's still a little bit of hope so uh, the best advice i can give is to watch those weekly mtg streams they're on twitch tuesdays like 4 p.m pst or something i don't know it's like noonish I, I don't actually watch them live because they're in the middle of the day but uh i usually watch the vod the uh the, the upload on youtube afterwards so uh yeah but that that's the best advice i have check out those streams and we'll see if there's an announcement in the next couple weeks and uh fingers crossed i guess so we'll see we'll find out i might tag uh gavin or mark rosewater uh on social media to see if i can poke, poke them in the ribs get get some get, get some answers if they if they do answer i don't think they will they're not gonna they're not gonna answer me but if they do i'll make a community post or something but uh yep we'll see we'll see what happens in the meantime thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one